You know what I mean? At this point, I have nothing more to say in regards to 6 9 situation. He needs to speak for himself. I, I, I'm I being honest. Like, bro, I've seen this with every artist in the book, and I tell them all the same thing. I tell Ugly Guy, put out music, put out music. He got a million excuses. Bro, I can't want it for you. I only want it for me, for, for me. I'm 10 years in the game. I've been on back on my YouTube grind. I don't need to be on YouTube. I'm back on my YouTube grind. I'm 10 years in the game. I seen three years in the game, and they acting like, yo, the game just going to need them. Bro, I can't speak for nobody else, no more. I'm humble within myself. So, like, when, when I'm talking to all these artists, I tell all of them, bro, just put up music. Like, yo, yo, cut the ego, kill it. But that's what drives rappers. I'm sorry. I could only speak for myself. No, I love 6 9 That's my guy. But, man, listen, I've been told you. I tell them to drop music, bro. Like, I don't drop music. There's... Whatever you're waiting for, it's not going to come. Drop music. So when people are slandering his name while people are while his fans are waiting for him to drop music, it's not incumbent on me to defend him. Whether that video of him getting booed is real or fake, it's not on me to defend him. Not no more because I can't defend you with anything that I see you doing. You're not dropping music, whatever, whatever. I will look like a dick rider defending you. So until you drop music, my nigga, if they say you got booed out the building, you did this, you did that, I got nothing to say. I got no comment in it. Everybody got to get back on their grind. You see me? I'm different. I came here to be in this music shit forever until I take the last breath. That's why I came to do it. So me, I look at everything that's going on. I'm like, I don't know what y'all want to say, man. What y'all want to say? I seen so many people get, get super hot, then get cold. Shit, if I was around if I was around Roddy Rich, I'd have been saying the same thing. Yo, Roddy, what the fuck is you doing waiting so long? Drop some fucking music. Drop music, drop music, drop music, drop music. But these wanna hear, man. These artists, the only thing will humble them is a flop. Remember I told y'all that. You see when the numbers hit, there's nothing humbling to a fucking rapper. They, they, these rappers' egos are out of this world. When they see that flop. And they got that gulp afterwards. It's nothing you could, there's nothing that can replace it. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. You think niggas wasn't trying to get Roddy Rich to drop? That nigga flopped and in 24 hours he announced that he dropping something else. Why you, I love Roddy, but why you ain't dropped some, why you ain't dropped that shit before in the two, three years? Nobody can tell you shit. Bro, that's how these artists are, bro. I'm telling you. Nobody's waiting for y'all. These artists think they own music and own fans. Nobody waiting for you. You don't own a particular time. You don't own nothing. You have your own moment and it goes on. I talked to I talked to two chains today. This is like a running back type of situation. Every year in rap is like three years in reality. Where people think that if you have if you work at a job for 20 years, you've had a really good career. Yeah. If you exist in rap for five years, you've had a really good career. You know, five years from now, you know when that was? That was 2018. Twenty sixteen, that's six years from now. Or it's really like really that's five years from now. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, actually, yeah. No, twenty eighteen is four years from now. Twenty seventeen was five years from now. Look at Lil Pump. Look at, bro.